Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Cha Cha. Today I have a rigging trick for you and that is getting Z-Man plastics on a screw lock. Now this is something that is kind of a love-hate thing with Z-Man because Z-Mans are great and they last forever, but getting them onto a screw lock jig head or a uh, swim bay hook is not super easy, but there is a trick that makes it way easier. My buddy Steve showed me this trick a while ago and I've been using it ever since. And for Z-Man plastics, I'm always throwing them on a, a screw lock jig head now without an issue. So let's head to the table and let's get on into it. All right, all right, all right. So you got your screw lock hook. What I'm using happens to be a high octane weedless jig head. And then you've got your Z-Man plastic. This is a Slam Shady Diesel Minnow 4 inch. I love this plastic paired up with this jig head. They work great. And we're going to get into how to get this and turn it into this. So, super simple. It does not have to be a paddle tail. It can be a jerk shad if you want. It can be a kicker crab. Whatever Z-Man plastic this trick works for. So the issue that you typically have is because of the Elastec, it does not want to let that screw penetrate in and you'll be twisting it 70 million times and it still won't go in. So here's the trick. So you take the hook point <clears throat> and you dig it into where you're putting your screw lock. See, you can see the uh, hook point going in there. So you want to get it a little deeper than when the screw lock is going to go to. So get it down then pull it out. Make sure it's a barbed hook also. That's very important. And then what I'll do with the paddle tail is I'll spin it. Right? Spin it like another quarter turn. You do this probably four to six times. The more you do, the better. Just makes it a little easier to get that screw lock in there. So it was probably like six. So let's take the screw lock. Now it will let us in. Still, you still have to put pressure on it. And spin it a decent amount more so than you would with a normal plastic but now it doesn't rotate off see it's going in if we didn't use that hook point to essentially create a channel there plastic wouldn't want to go on but now that we created that channel it's able to slip through Still takes a decent amount of turns, especially to get it all the way up to the eyelet of the hook, but we're getting there. All right, that's almost there. Now, an important step that you want to do to make this bait stay on this jig head or stay on the screw lock is Loctite. This will keep this bait on there all day. I don't recommend the liquid. I accidentally bought the liquid a while ago, so I'm using it. The liquid makes a mess. I prefer the standard Loctite, so. Let's get that off. And then all you wanna do is just put a dab right in there. I'm probably gonna make a mess because this is the liquid and it's gonna get all over my fingers, but it's just a little dab. And then that glue is going to go up into the bait on that screw lock and it's going to keep it there all day long. So once you rig it up, you won't have to worry about it coming off. Almost there. It's already starting to dry. I can feel it.
All right, there we go. Let's find where it's going. Get it through the belly, all through the top. Put it right in that little fin there. And there you go. That is the quickest and easiest way to get a screw lock into a Z-Man plastic. And now if you look, especially with that Loctite in there, not coming out. So, hope you like this tutorial. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And hope out, I hope this helps you catch more fish. So, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.